Today I'm going to show you how to outline your character with the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator. The best that I can do is, is give you pointers and tips on doing certain shapes, but you're only going to get better the more you practice. To start out, I have my little Stay Puft character here. What I like to do is select him, I lock him, because you know I'm using this to trace over. Uh, we'll lock that layer, make a new layer here, and I actually would like to reduce the opacity of this guy. So let's go over here, kind of bring him down to... Yeah, 50% should be fine. Lock that layer. That way I can't, uh, I can't select it. And go to our new layer here. Select the pen tool. And let's make sure there's no fill. Now, I like to start on ends when, when when there's arcs because you don't need a lot of you don't need to do a lot of points with arcs so let's bring a point in there press the middle keep it held down and let's extend it it's going to give that arc and we could just follow it all the way to the other edge here and it's going to arc it for us automatically and let's do the same thing over here let's find that midpoint for the arc extend it and then another edge there. Now, don't worry about it not looking perfect. As long as you have your basic points there, that, that's all you need. We can go in and we'll adjust these as we move along. So I'm going to go ahead and start another uh, line here, pressing P for pen, and let's do the hat. It's starting to shape up a little bit, but I also want to point out sometimes you don't want these little bezier points, and you can see how it kind of messes up the design part of this little uh, part of his hat. So when you don't want these little edges here, go up in the corner, and you want to just convert it to a point, and it'll help give you that sharp edge. I mean, we could probably, let's test it out here. Go in and give that, see, it gives it a nice point. Okay, so now that we have the general shape here, what I like to do, uh, because seeing the overlapping of this kind of irritates me, so I'm just going to put in a fill here temporarily, just uh, to use as a guideline. It also helps to see if, if everything is lining up appropriately and shaped properly. This also helps to distinguish what your layer arrangement will be. So that's looking pretty good so far. Uh, we kind of have our, our main shape. Could probably use a little bit more cleaning up, but let's kind of move on here and now do the rest of the body. So here's his body. It looks ugly, I know. So let's just start filling it in with uh, a color fill to see where we're at. All right, now let's copy these shapes. Press V, select, Command C, Shift, Command V. That's a paste in place, okay? Then right click, and we want to reflect. Let's preview. There we go, on the vertical. So now we have the two sets of shapes. But really, we just only want to connect these two guys, and we just want to connect the belly. What we want to do is select the two shapes, bring up the Pathfinder here. You could, if it's not in your display, go to Window and Pathfinder right here. It should bring it right up. And we're going to want one of these. I believe it's Unite or Merge. Let's try Merge. Yeah, the Merge did it. Now this is the belly is just one shape. See these points in here? We don't we don't want this. There's too many. So press minus on your keyboard and go to these points, the points that you don't want. There you go. Also, let's take a look. This point has the little handlebar there, but doesn't have it on the other side. But that's okay. Let's click this point, go up to the top here, and you can convert it. I mean, you can convert it to have no points, you can convert it to have two points. 
I clicked it and it automatically added the two. Now here's another thing. Remember what I said, arcs only need one point from point A to point C. Let's, let's remove these. Let's press minus again. Let's remove this one. Let's remove that one. Let's press A and pull these bars this way. Pull this bar this way. And you can see now it's much cleaner, much smoother. That's what we're looking for. So we're almost done now. Now we just need to do his face, his little bow here, and his boxing gloves. And that'll do it for the pen tool for Adobe Illustrator. If you have any questions or anything, please leave them in the comments section and I'll do my best to reply to them. And uh, definitely subscribe and like the video as it does help me to make more content for you guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time.